parkour is pretty amazing. These guys have to be able to adapt their bodies to accept some pretty crazy blows. So let's learn a bit about Dom Tomato before we get started here. Dom looked at it and said, I'll do it. And he did it. No problems. Holy this was cow. truly like nothing that free runners had. Okay. That is insane. So I don't know how far that is. It's probably under 20 feet or so. But still the fact that he's making that leap and he's forward flipping and having to land is insane. Let's take a look at what happens. Probably witnessed in person before. Oh, Up until crazy. this point, people didn't really do flips like this. Dom had truly mastered the diving front flip technique and would be able to take impact that for most people would break their legs. Like yep. Dom's highest flip to date is something like 28 feet. What Dom- 28 feet? Oh my God. I can barely jump over a four foot fence. Are you kidding me? been able to do with front flips is nothing short of incredible. It is amazing. Over the years from this event, Dom has done countless massive diving wow. fronts. Not just onto grass, but onto hard concrete. So you may be wondering, how is Dom able to do these front oh my flips? God. And it's kind of funny. So Dom was telling me that when he grew up, he would watch parkour on YouTube and he would see people doing these massive front flips. Oh, the or at pole. Least it looked like they were doing these massive front flips. Dom was unaware that many of these classic front flips, like the one that Blue did in Storm Volume 1, were actually fake. <laughs> so they actually had landing pads yet. He was like, oh wow, these guys are really doing this. So I think I could probably do this. Let me just go jump off of buildings. Talk about defining your destiny. That's pretty cool and ballsy. Poor old Don, bless him, thought that these were all oh real. My God. And so he thought he could do the same. And he did, but without the crash mats. Holy. That was, it's this, the grass is so soft that like. Oh yeah, so yeah, soft. Yeah, kind of like bounce and roll a little bit, but it was still blessed. I was wondering how does Don's blessed. body take this impact? And blessed although he doesn't really know, he was showing me that on his body, he has these kind of like gel packs. I have that on my elbow from rolling. Oh wow. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, ah. That's all scar tissue. And that goes like a puffy gel pack when I, if I hit it, like, see even now it's getting a bit jelly as a response to the me hitting it. It's like, it's going. <laughs> But this is the best one. Ah, it's gonna be a bit weird because I'm kind of showing you my butt. Go a bit lower. Oh my god, yeah, on your on your left oh, hip. Yeah. I don't know Look if the camera's moving. Okay, so here, here's what's happening. Obviously, he's mastered the way to land and roll like stuntmen do. And what he's done is he's just built up scar tissue over time, and it's not really a gel pad. But what he has is a bunch of scar tissue in his elbow. Touch it, it's built up and it's thick, and it's actually protecting the underlying structures. And it's just from repetitive landing on the same area. We see that all the time. He literally does the same thing in my elbow. Look, I know that sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. His body has now like mutated from taking so much impact that when he rolls, he has these areas on his body that kind of like inflate with gel. And Dom suspects that this is his body finding a way it's to really deal gel. with impact. All right, next segment. Lior 25 is the name of the biggest drop in skateboarding history. Oh, in France. Dang. Today oh, we came insane. all the way to France to have a look at it and uh, to see if Dom can front flip it. A front flip down those stairs, man. It's just unbelievable. Like there's so many things that can go wrong. You could break everything. It is so crazy. And the fact that this guy has balls that are that big blows me away. Cause this is like life or death in two seconds. It's insane. This is crazy. There's no way. Oh my God. That is crazy. Oh, he had to break something. He broke something? Aha. Uh -huh. The doctor calls it. Let's pause real quick. That's insane what he just did. And I swear to God, even stump people probably have a hard time with this. The way that he goes that high and that far and has to be able to land and time the impact and drop and roll is insane. And the fact that he only probably broke his ankle here is crazy. And let me tell you, some ankle fractures like trimalleolar fractures can be horrific to come back from. So let's see what happens. I am feeling that I probably broke something in my foot. I really hope I didn't, but I very, very much feel like I did. Ugh. There's so many little bones. You got your fibula uh, coming in, your tibia coming in. Uh, 
and there's the calcaneus, which is the heel bone, metatarsals, which are the what go to your toes, and the midfoot, there are other bones. There's so many things that he could have broken, and these can be extremely, extremely difficult to recover from. Fuck. Uh, not what I expected at all. Uh, he said a bad word. Very much thought I had that in the bag. So let me show you guys anatomically what could have happened here. And any one of these tiny little bones could be broken in the midfoot or any of these metatarsals. These aren't as bad to heal, but boy, they can be really bad. The calcaneus is tough. Trimalleolar is when you break three different areas of the bones down here, and those those are super complicated. We need you foot doc Dana and top podiatry. Those are guys from TikTok. These can be pretty nasty injuries, so let's let's go ahead and see what happens to them. Still feels shit. Perfect. Oh yeah, so he's starting to swell. Fashionable shoe for the uh, for the next month. Yep, crutches. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, I did the thing that I wanted to do, but uh, not a hundred percent successfully. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, dude? You lived. So the boot, what does the boot do? The boot mobilizes the ankle, compressed to, to control the swelling, and he's non-weight bearing, obviously. He can't put his weight on that. You know, actually sometimes, at a certain point when fractures begin to heal, we actually ask people to put weight on it a little bit because some of that micro movement, it leads to better buildup of, of osteocytes and better union between the two bones. They even sometimes will use stimulator devices where they in, have internal stems, which attach to the bone to agitate the bone to promote more bone growth. We're just gonna see a bunch of his jumps. Oh my God, he's jumping off the top of the building. How many stories is that? That is crazy. This guy is insane. <laughs> Oh my God, he hits the branch on the way down. Oh, he clipped it, that could have been bad. Oh, did he hurt himself? Oh, oh, <laughs> wipe out. Let's take a look at that, hopefully they replay it. Oh. This guy is insane. Insane. I'm okay. Hit my head insane. a little bit on the, on the roll, but I'm okay. Dude's okay. a beast. You wonder if even these guys, like, do they ever have moments where they're like, oh my God, that almost ended me because brick everywhere, stone everywhere. His heels hit the end of the brick wall when he landed. He could have gone back and hit his head on the cement and lights out, game over, tomato brain. Now we're rolling. Follow the madness on my YouTube journey because I do like to get a little frisky. All right, tomato, toma is he, is he gonna be a tomato or tomato paste? Let's see. And everyone's egging him on. Oh my God, that is freaking crazy. He is sick, that is insane. Man doesn't need to take off his shirt to flex, just, you know, jump from 20 feet. Oh, the free yeah, yeah. jump. Oh my hey. God. All you want is a piece of I don't know how the guy does it. He's amazing. Because you work all day and sleep all night. No time for yourself to feel all right. Count in the days like one, two, three, four, five. Bill him different in Australia. For your manager harassing you to be on time. Or looking in the mirror like this can't be your life. All right, that's it. We'll see you next time for another fun video. I think we're going to maybe hit up the WWE next. We'll see what's going to happen.